Hey everyone, Avery Knight for another action figure review. And today we're going to take a look at the Battle Droid SH Figuarts figure by uh, Bandai to Machine Nations, goes for the Star Wars line. Uh, last time we took a look at the Clone Trooper that they just released. This is the, the Battle Droid that they released along with it the same day it came out. They came out together. So, of course, this is all from uh, prequels. And uh, there's Obi Wan in the back, which should be coming soon. So, let's crack this Battle Droid out the pack and see what we got here. Alright, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of geeking out right now. This is pretty cool. I mean, this is like the first time you ever get a Battle Droid action figure, honestly, for like a six inch scale. And this is so cool. I'm sorry, I had to do this. I had to put them into that form. You know how when they're powered down before they're powered up, they're all, they're squat down and folded up. It's so cool that you're able to do this with this figure. I mean, it's just a cool thing for them to do uh, to make him fold up like that or fold down like that. It's just awesome. It's just so freaking cool. I'm... As I love how that looks. Looks just like the movie. Looks great. Uh, I haven't figured out how to hook on that gun correctly. The picture shows it there, so it's kind of just hanging on there by like nothing. Uh, there's like a clip there. I'm not sure what makes it stay like put, but uh, you know he folds he folds up, yeah, just like that. All you gotta do is pull the legs out to stand him up, or whatever. Stand it up. And the head will go back up as so. I so say what you want about the prequels. Everyone has their own opinions. Uh, I I did like them. Uh, not as good as the original trilogy, of course, but I did like them. I enjoy them. I don't hate them with a passion like everyone else does. Uh, we, but we all have our own opinions. Uh, so I think it's really cool that we're getting a Battle Droid in 6-inch scale. You know, SA Figure Arts and Black Series hasn't not done it yet, so I don't know what's taking them so long. But this is phenomenal. I mean, they did a great job on this. He's very light, very little, very small, very skinny, of course. So, you know, for the price range that he's going for, thirty to I think it's thirty dollars, thirty five or forty. You know, it might be a little steep considering how you know thin he is, how little plastic it comes with. But nonetheless, it's pretty cool to get a battle droid for the first time. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first time we get a Battle Droid. And it's really decent, the articulation and the detail looks phenomenal on it. Not a lot of accessories, though. He only does come with his blaster rifle. Literally the only accessory it comes with. It's very nicely done, though, sculpted and painted. And then there's this antenna. If you want to count the antenna, uh, there's the antenna that goes on his backpack. Now, I forgot what this does in the movie. I don't know why one has an antenna. Why? I think it comes out of the book bag, or not the book bag, or the pack on the back. It just, I think it springs up, I believe, from what I remember. But I can be wrong, and you can correct me all you want in the in the uh, comments. If you guys would like, I, I feel free to do so. Uh, but there it is with the antenna. That's how it looks. So taking a closer look at the battle droid itself, you can kind of see... The sculpt going on here and details looks really nice. I like how it came out for real. Really digging it. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's a really cool figure. First time I've ever seen a battle droid in the scale. There's some battle damage on its head right there. Uh, that neck piece is really cool. Look how you can fold it down, fold it up, go like this. Uh, so it might as well go on to the articulation of the figure. So it goes left and right like that. Uh, well, the antenna's in the way there. So seems like it's on a little tiny itty bitty uh, ball joint right there so it relaxes the range of motion goes up like crazy goes down like crazy Th this huge neck right here that it's on a double hinge so one there one there so lots of range of motion there uh, the arms go forward and back right there the whoops there goes that arm it does come off as you can see uh, don't worry guys it's not broken uh, so forward and back like that and uh, in and out very nicely done honestly look at that Goes in and out a lot. I've got this little bit of a shoulder articulation here, or the guard, so it does not hinder it. Well, when it wants to work, it doesn't hinder it. Uh, it does come off. It's not broken when it comes off, so don't get scared. Uh, actually, it's pretty cool to me. You know, you know, if you want a, a lightsaber slicing it off, then you can have it sl uh, slid off. So that's pretty cool. Uh, elbow joint goes like that. A little bit over a 90 degree bend right there. Uh, it does bend the other way too. Uh, it does swivel at the bicep, you want to count that right there. We have a little bit of a ball joint hinge on the wrist, right there, a little bit weird of a joint. Uh, the two fingers here are together, so it bends right here and it bends at this joint at the fingers. You can kind of see it bends right there and it bends down there. To the torso area of the droid, it does have a little bit of a crunch there, so it does move forward and back. It swivels a little bit, so you can see that right there going on. 
Uh, the legs go forward and back, in and out very little bit. Not a lot of range of motion in and out, but that's okay because they don't bend that way. Uh, double joint to knee, really nice right there. Forward and back on the ankle. Does have an ankle rocker, that's amazing. Uh, it doesn't swivel though, it does not swivel left and right, so. Uh, which is okay, it's a droid. Alright, so there you have it, this review of the Battle Droid. Very nice, I really did like this more than I thought. It's just really cool to me, I haven't seen this before with the Battle Droid being made in the scale. I think they only made it in 3 inch, 3 quarter inch. Uh, so, this is pretty cool. It's pretty cool to have this for Black, or not for Black Series, for SH Figuarts. I am very surprised how this came out, articulated wise and detail wise. Came out really nice and I like it. I really do enjoy how it, how it looks and how you can pose them up. Uh, very cool battle droid. I mean, I, I can't wait to see the, the army builders on this thing. Uh, it, this, it's phenomenal. It looks nice. Next to it, a clone trooper. If you wanted to see the same clone trooper from the same, or that just came out. There he is. Next to a storm trooper. Right there. So, pretty cool. I like how that battle droid came out. In my opinion, very nice figure. I recommend them all. So, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You guys like us. Have a great day. Bye. That's crispy.